Ah. Hey everybody, the Gaming Guru 51 here, and welcome back for more Wario World. Man, it's been like two weeks in the last episode! We finished up the snow level! Uh, what was the name of that level? We were doing the Thrillsville, the Shivering Mountains. And in this episode, we are going to do this level, this wonderful level. And I apologize if I haven't recorded in such a long time. Um, this is pretty much what this video is going to be about today while I'm doing this level. The Beanstalk Way. Basically, the reason why I haven't been recording in the past few days, or past two weeks, is because of Black Ops 2 and Halo 4. Yes. I know it's stupid. I know, I know. You don't need to tell me. Oh man, why would you do that? Well, you know, I'll tell you right now, those games are freaking awesome. I mean... I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be like telling you guys you should play it and all because it is your opinions if you play them or not. But in my opinion, Black Ops 2 and Halo 4 are like amazing games. And uh, Black Ops 2, I've been playing multiplayer. And I think I'm a uh, second prestige level 47 by this recording session, which is on two or on Sunday, I believe. And in Halo 4, I'm a level 40. So I've been. Doing quite well for myself. Anyway, knock down the fruit of the tree, freaks. Careful, the fruit has thorns. I'll get to that in a moment. Let's just... This level is not as annoying as the last one, so... Uh, gonna be doing a lot of... Not a lot of backtracking in this one. It's very straightforward. I might have to go back if I miss something, because chances are I probably will miss something in this level. What's over here? Just gotta check your surroundings. Sub level, let's do it. Okay, what do we got? Uh, I think it's one of these things. Just gotta lower these platforms enough to freaking grab them. Climb up, and there you, there you go. The Tula Pooley, whatever, sucks a glue globe shortly after it spits him out. We'll get to that in a moment, too. Oh, yeah, I have a bit of a cold, too. <laughs> Not very well of me to have one. Okay, I know we missed stuff, so we have to go back and get some stuff. Okay. So, how is everybody's day? I know the Wii U came out today as of this recording session, too. Which is, a, which I'm kind of jealous because I kind of want to play it. I kind of want the Wii U. I've been looking forward to that for a while, but I unfortunately can't buy it today. I wasn't one of the lucky ones to get it on the first day it came out, so uh, yeah, makes me sad face. Here we have the uh, red platform. Man, I've recorded in a while, man. So uh, bear with me a bit because I'm just uh, kind of. Uh, getting stuff done here. Alright, where's that yellow switch? I know, I think I passed it, though. What the hell? Okay, yeah, these things have thorns on them, so uh, be warnful. You're trying to hit that little fruit thing in the middle. And I think that's it, right? Yes, it is. One hit does it. Okay, so I uh, haven't really had much practice with this game, and I think the yellow switch is down here. Yes, it is. Okay. I'm not stupid. Which means it was good that I came back, because now I have to, I actually have to go back and uh, get the yellow switch. But first of all, let's do the sub-level real quick, since we're here. And I hear a uh, gold statue piece. Kind of just angle yourself in a way so you don't get hit by the thorns. And I think you want to be up here. And there you go. Now we go up here, get this, get that, and uh, get the hell out of here. Oh man. So, um, yeah. The campaign for Black Ops 2 is actually really good. I really liked it a lot. Um, not going to spoil what happens there for those of you who do play Call of Duty and play as the campaign and whatnot, but, uh,. I'll just let you know right now. It's worth getting, trust me. Um, but I wanted this whole video to be just about Black Ops 2 right now. Just uh, kind of filling in some time so I can talk about stuff while I've been gone. And uh, yeah, with 
November is just really a bad month for me in terms of video, in terms of school and recording. Because even last year's November, I didn't do anything. I didn't record for a straight month, I think, because of uh, Skyrim, you know, uh, Warfare 3, and you know, all that stuff coming out. Alright, where's that yellow switch? I think it's in the bottom. I think it's down here, right? Yes, it is! Okay, so I think we're set on stuff for this particular floor here. So we don't have to come back to the beginning of the level anymore. Wait, first, hit that. I mean, this level does have a lot of backtracking, but it has some. We're starting to get to the point where the level's like... Where they uh, where they're uh, mixing around the uh, treasures and stuff. So it's kind of annoying in that regard, but uh, yeah. So uh, let's see, let's keep going here. We're doing well so far, I think. We're doing quite well. Come on, uh, actually, you know what? I'll go back here and get this thing. Oh, of course, it's a bomb. Is there anything else over here that I could get? Not really, huh? Shoot! All right, come on. Come on. I'm just trying to pick you up so I can go over here and spin and then jump on the ladder and be happy campers. Because we like to be happy campers in this game. That's why I recorded it. It's a short little fun game. Okay, so what's up here? Another sub-level. And that's it. Let's go in it. What do we got? Oh, I remember this one. Take the bomb and hit the switch with it. And there you go. And then we go back out. Not... Wait, did I miss something? I, hold on. Did I miss something? Hold on. I, I, I'm good. I did. Got some treasure. Maybe I already... Am I stupid? I think I am kind of stupid right now. I, I, I'm sorry. I I feel really stupid for no reason. Okay. Uh, sub level must go inside. There you go. Oh, this is that one, isn't it? You jump all the way down here to get that. Then you go all the way down here. And there you go! I love that one, it's so freaking cool how you do that. Okay, uh, do I go down there? Yeah, I do. Because I know there's one, there's one path where you have to split up. And of course, we'll do one of these things, so I'm going to cut away until when I actually finish this one. And there you go! Nice of that, because we get this treasure at the end here. That's three. How many treasures do we? We have five of those statue pieces. Damn. Well, I was not expecting that one. Okay, but uh, there's one. Okay, there's that. I gotta get that first. Okay, here are some noose. Where are those guys? They wouldn't be here normally. Oh wait, no, they wouldn't. Is it up here? Yeah. These guys. These magnet things. You hit them on these metal things, and they can use them as platforms and whatnot. But I'm going to use them to uh, go into the sub-level first. Oh, wait, I remember this one. You have to make them in a way that they line up. I remember that. And I think I actually did a pretty good job with that. If I'm not mistaken. Yes, I did. Wow. I actually did well on that one. I usually suck at those kind of puzzles. But anyways, I get to the end here and we get another Spriteling. The monstrous magnets do more than just to get in your way, you know. Think about it. What do magnets do? Yeah, what do magnets do? I would not have guessed you can use them to freaking magnetize. Or to uh, stick together. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I've been, sti I've been up literally f almost 48 hours by the time of this recording session because of the fact that those games came out and I had no life for quite a while. Purple! Wow, they give you the purple one at the very end. Jeez. Okay, um, uh, I know there's... Okay, I want to go down here. 
I do. Yeah, I do want to come down here first. Good thing I did. Because if I didn't come down here first, I would have had to come back to the freaking thing, the bye-bye uh, balloon, and come down here later. Because you would think this would take you to another uh, segment of the level that you can't go up, but in terms, that's not true. That is very false. You want to come down here first before you go up. Oh, jeez. Alright, uh... This is wacky. Um... It's not hard, mind you. It's kind of easy. In that way, it's right there. Oh, just barely. These kind of treasure... This kind of place holds many treasures. I bet the cliff bases do, too. No idea what you're saying there, but I'm, uh, I'm gonna take your word for whatever you're trying to tell me. So you go over here. Alright, give me something to... Yeah, here we go. I'm probably not even talking about the game that much, and I apologize, I really should, but I'm just collecting items and getting through the mission, getting through the level here. So um, there's nothing really for me much to talk about in this regard. For now, anyway. Okay, you go up here, I think there's a... If you go over to the top, you get to... That. Cool. I think I missed a switch along the way. Yeah, I think I missed a uh, green switch along the way. Unless I come back to it in the meantime. I can get up here, though. There you go. Maybe I'll come across that switch in the meantime. Let's hope I do. Because I have to go back over there and get it otherwise. Hey, stupid magnet. Okay. Oh, there it is. Uh, magnets. Alright, I need to hit that. Can I jump and hit it from there? There we go! Nice job! Now I come down here and I go back up that way. To hit that switch. Why not? Okay. Make a good time! Make a good time! Okay, so uh, things are looking out pretty well. I am actually really freaking happy right now. Because of the fact that I'm getting this recording done, and the fact that I'm doing quite well in this level right now. Yeah, you go up here, and there you go. Green treasure peak. Green treasure platform. And now, we don't have to come down here either, and just go up. So we'll just go back up here the way we did. Go over here. And basically doing the same thing we just did the other tw two times in a row. Going over here, and... These stupid... Stupid magnets are so irritating. Especially if you hit one when you're trying to throw them at a metal wall. Then they just fall and you don't even get the freaking, uh... They don't even connect, hit the wall. They just kind of explode. Oh, come on. There we go. And yeah, yeah, they follow you too. That's another worst thing about these guys. Okay. Open field here. Anything special around? Oh yeah, I know, I know there's a lot of stuff over here. Like, there's some stuff down here. There's, yeah, there's this. What else is there? Is that it? Down here? Yeah, down here is pretty much that. Anything else? No. There's a lot of uh, switches over here, anyway. There's this treasure. There's that blue. Down here. And across the bridge, full statue piece. That means we have seven of the eight, which is nice. Okay, so I think we're coming across the, uh, we're gonna get to the blue switch here. Oh, this guy. Oh, wait. There you go. Yeah, for, I don't know how you're supposed to pick these up without taking a hit. I, I kind of just take the hit, anyway. Nope, don't explode! Oh yeah, if you don't hit it long enough, it frickin' dis- It closes itself. So you don't want that to happen. <sighs> this thing is so annoying! There you go! Make can leave me alone! Okay, get down here! Oh, I see the blue switch, too. 
Oh god dang it! Looks like I'm cutting away until I finish this one. Okay, that was a lot easier than the first one. I got a lot more money that time. Okay, so... You were just not being nice to me, game. Not nice at all. Ah, my goodness, we have to kill this blue thing now. Uh, get away! Get away from me, you fiend! There you go. Okay, now we have to come. We have to go down here. That's not all. We have to go all the way back up and hit the blue switch that we miss because the blue switch is. Oh, the blue platform. Here's the purple one. Oh, I hate these guys. They. I don't even know. I hate them so much though. There we go. Now we have to go back. But before I go back, let's go to the sub level. And let's see what we got. Oh, this. Oh, I, I know how these work too. Ah! You have to jump when they hit their highest point. So you can get the most amount of fucking things from them and. Oh my god! Oh my god! Ugh. Come on! How the hell do I get this one? Oh, I get it. Come on! Come on! There. There we go. Alright, I just gotta time it so I can get it. There you go, and the last Spriteling. Up ahead is the giant spider octopus. Don't get stuck by his... I can't read. Use dash on the tug of war. I'd love to know what that... I would love to know what that means, but I really don't need to know, because I know everything about this game. Sort of. I have 100% of it. Go! Oh, God! Get away! Get away. I have to go back now. Should I, should I show that? Eh, I'll cut away till I get back to that blue, uh, blue platform. Oh my god, man. That was stupid. Anyways, here is the lair in this particular level. Can I be done with this level now? You've already proven to be annoying already. Sort of. Not, really. Not as annoying as the last level, I'll tell you that, but... Oh, get away. Get away! Thank you! What a minute! 20 minutes, man! Holy bejeebers, dude! Alright. I just saw the blue switch, too. It was around... It was the blue platform. Where is it? There's that! Oh, here it is! We need... Oh, we need one more. We have all the... Oh! We are making great progress! We are almost done! Fantastic news! Okay, get down. Come here, little freaking magnet fools. I hate you so much. There you go. Okay, let's just finish this level because we're pretty much done. We should be on we should be near the end quite soon here. There's only one thing that's gonna get in our way at the end. And it's gonna be annoying as hell to deal with when we get there. This stupid tree! This tree is awful! It takes three hits in the middle of its things to die. And I'm already gonna die here, so I already call that shit, man. I'll tell you that. Alright. If I don't die on this thing... Oh, of course I did when they fall on me! Ah! Makes me a sad panda, I tell you. I'll pay the 500 coins to get out of destruction and sadness. Alright, this just needs one more hit, I think. <clears throat> Yay! 
Get on, get away. Okay, so up here. What is up here? The paying man. A bunch of enemies I don't care about. The end. Did I miss something? Like up here. The last treasure. Down here should be the last gold statue piece. Get it? Get that? There you go. Duh! I have to climb on these things to get up now. There we go. There you go! Get out! Get me out of here! Get... Thank you! Oh my god, is that everything? That is! Wonderful! Wonderful! I am so glad I could finish this level with ease! Or with the littlest amount of pain as possible, of course. Let's get to the end, please. I've had enough. Oh my god, this was a really obnoxious recording session. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. But, all that's left is the boss of this level. So let's take him down here. And of course, the spider tickless thing is our boss. Not a very hard boss. Kind of reminds me of Goma for awkward enough time. So, uh, that's pretty cool. If you look at it, it looks so derpy. He's like, yeah, meh, meh, I'm gonna eat your face in it, sir, and you're gonna die. Okay, so, uh, how do I do this normally? You know, I just... I feel like I just do this. Oh, that doesn't work that way, does it? Oh, you're supposed to hit its head, I think. Shoot, did I just miss what I was supposed to do here? Shoot! I am not doing so hot here. <coughs> oh, I'm supposed to hit his belly. That's what I was supposed to do. Okay, now I figured it out. We're all good. I thought you could just do that, but I guess not. I guess I have to do this the long way. It's kind of annoying in that regard, but I will do it. Come on, man. Come on. There you go. I guess doing it the right way does give you money, so... Oh, what do I have for time? 26 minutes? Definitely gonna be cutting out a little bit from this fight. Oh, goodness. He's not even that hard, either. I figured out a way to kill him really fast, and I forgot how to do it. Oh, yeah, the, the more you get beat him down, the, the more faster he gets with his attacks and whatnot. Okay, two more to go. That's all I need. Jeez, man. This guy is, this guy is nuts, I tell ya. Come on. Alright. One more. Okay, he's one more to, he's one more to go. This guy is fast. Oh my goodness, he's fast. Come on, one more attack. We'll finish you off. Alright, and Wario, will you do the spinning honors of finishing this boss off? Let's do it! <laughs> Try star on the wrong time. Oh! Oh yeah, I know this is a stupid way to do this, but uh, let's show off the treasures. The nice gong with the violin, the earring, the jeweled sword. We have the gold tiara, the nice scepter, the king's crown, and the game board fans. Oh uh, yeah, that's pretty nice. Okay, back to boss beating time. Ah <laughs> oh, boy, I'm stupid. Okay, recording session complete. 
And level beaten. And I beat it with just a minimal amount of health, which is very, very nice. Okay. With that level beaten, we have 100% in both of these levels, and all that's left is the boss of World 3. So, I think I'm going to end this video off here. Next time on Wario World, we will ta bleh, tackle down the area boss of World 3. And if that's done fast enough, we will start World 4. The last world in the game. Alright, I will see you guys next time.